Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I just got off a call with a client. We had a spiritual session, which Spirit came through, gave her a lot of information and messages, and I got off the call feeling really high vibration, and I wanted to kind of share some of that vibration with you. And recently in one of my programs, one of my students named Christian Kuna, who also has a YouTube, I do believe, Christian Kuna, C-U-N-A, told me that people just really love oracle card readings on the internet. They just love to pick a card and get the meaning for that card and that more of us should probably be doing that, more of us lightworker practitioners. And I thought to myself, well, why haven't I really ever done that? I bet my followers would love to have an occasional intuitive reading online. And to that end, and because I just gave an intuitive reading, I would like to pull three oracle cards for you and have you select a card, one, two, or three, and then give you the messages for that card. Now I wanna say, as I show you each card, I really want you to be paying attention to what's coming through as you're actually looking at the screen and viewing this card because spirit actually speaks to us in a variety of ways. Spirit can give us something like an image. Maybe as I'm showing you the cards, you can see an image in your mind's eye of a number, one, two, or three. Maybe as we're going through this exercise, you might hear the word one, two, or three, clear audiently or in your environment, which is less common. You might also just get a sense of what card you really vibrate with or resonate with. Whatever comes through though, it's really important that you allow it to come through and to trust it. So whichever card resonates with you or you feel kind of a little magnetic tug with, select that card and stay with it. I'm gonna show you three different cards and I'm gonna say this is card number one, number two, number three. I'm going to have you look at those cards for a little while, again, trying to receive messages from spirit to direct you to the right card, and then I will reveal the answers to you. Now, when I reveal the answers to you, I'm going to be reading them right out of the deck, and what I want you to do is see where in your life this might apply, because if you're getting a tug to select a certain card, then there's a reason for that, and so maybe it's something to do with the relationship. Maybe it's something to do with your purpose and your path and your work. Maybe it's something around your spirituality and your connection. So if the card doesn't make sense initially, right in the beginning, just sit with it a while and see how my, it might apply and really listen to these definitions. All right, I shuffled this a bit. I want you to know that I'm gonna be using this deck, which I love and I use all the time on my live broadcasts and Facebook. This deck is called Sacred Symbols for Divination and Meditation. This deck was created by Marcella or Marcella Kroll, and I really love it. I love the artwork and I love the messaging. I picked three cards. I'm gonna show you each card one at a time, starting with card number one. Card number one, have a look at that card and see what you feel. See if anything comes through for you. Let's take a look now at card number two. Card number two. And finally, card number three. Card number three. I'll show them quickly to you again. One, two, or three. Take a moment for yourself and decide upon which card, which card do you resonate with the most? Which card did you get kind of a magnetic tug with? Or did you get a resounding yes to? Or did you see a number? Did you hear a number? And so on and so forth. Let's start revealing the card. The first card, number one, for those of you who selected number one, is breakthrough. Breakthrough. This obviously speaks to a breakthrough that you might be experiencing in an area of your life, either now or in the near future, anywhere from one to six months out. Let's look at the definition of breakthrough. For those of you who selected this card, this is a card of miracles, divine. Also a card representing the end of stagnation and divine inspiration. This card is telling you that a turning point 
is going to be taking place. The change or the answer that you've been seeking or thinking about is here now. Meditate on this symbol when you're feeling stuck, unsure of which way to go, or if you have a block creatively. This is actually a Viking rune symbol for breakthrough. So those of you who selected card number one, you're headed for a breakthrough. You are about to get unstuck or something is coming your way and you'll be able to break through to a new level. That was card number one. Card number two, for those of you who felt that magnetic tug for two is boundaries. Wow, boundaries. How many of you guys need better boundaries? It's funny because I pulled this card and it's the card in the definition book right before breakthrough. So boundaries. Boundaries tell us that it is very important right now to stand our ground, to be our own guardian and to take up our space. This is not the time to play small. You've got to honor your space and create healthy boundaries in your situation. You want to meditate on this symbol when you want to set a healthy boundary and also stick to it. It's one thing to set it, but you also have to stick to it. Jaguar can also help you keep your integrity and your standards high. The Jaguar is a totem of integrity and impeccability. It has a healthy sense of boundaries and it also respects magic and the power of the unknown. Boundaries. For those of you who selected card number two, are there areas in your life where you need stronger boundaries? Are people breaching boundaries and you need to stand your ground? If that sounds familiar, you've just been given a message from spirit. And finally, card number three. For those of you who felt drawn to card number three, let's look and see what that is. Cool. Thunderbird tracks. Thunderbird tracks. Awesome. I think this is a really good card. If I do, I have so many decks and I use all kinds of decks. But Thunderbird, I think it's a good omen. Yep, that's exactly what it says. Thunderbird, positive omen for those of you who picked number three. All signs point to yes, onward and upward. Meditate on this symbol, the Thunderbird tracks, when you want to see all the good in your life and the world around you. Thunderbird tracks are a Native American symbol for good prospects and good fortune. So, positive omen. Things are going to go your way. This is a yes to some of the questions that you might have in your life. And also, Thunderbird tracks help us when we're having a hard time seeing the beauty in life, the beauty in the world, the beauty in people, the beauty in our situation. This is a reminder that we can see the good in our life and the world around us. Number three, Thunderbird tracks. So what do you do now? Well, you drop down into the comments and you tell me what card you picked and you tell me whether that resonates with you and how you think that applies because I want to know. Also, if you'd like me to do this on the reg, today's what, Wednesday? Maybe I can do this every Wednesday and we can pull some cards. Again, I have a, a ton of decks because you know, spirit is always talking to us people. Spirit is always trying to get us a message. You never know how it's going to enter into your sphere and your field. It might be some woman on the internet pulling cards for you, but Spirit wants to rendezvous with you and wants to enrich you and give you resources. So I hope this helped you. I'm going to check out those comments, see what you guys are saying, and I'll see you next time in my next video.